was wondering how objectivists claim to know that there is no afterlife. There seems to be a lot of evidence in favor of the idea that at least certain people reincarnate. Uh, for example, how do you account for children who know certain things about a previous person's life that they could not have known about unless they had been that person? Or what about psychics? Is there really a way by which I can know that none of these claims are true? Well, you say you've got evidence uh, of these things. What do you call evidence? Evidence is something based on observation uh, that you can integrate without contradiction into the rest of your knowledge. These psychics and these uh, children allegedly reincarnated, claim no means of knowing uh, what they allege. They claim, in effect, mystic knowing. There's no observation which tells them the story of the past life or the psychic's prediction uh, of the future. They simply say they have some arbitrary power, which is means. They have to reject every principle of reason, of the senses, of logic. That is not evidence. So anybody who makes claims like that has already rejected the whole concept of evidence. But now you might ask, but what about when they're correct, the psychic predictions and uh, the children in question? Well, there's many different possible explanations. Sheer chance, Seal activity, in other words, all the children that thought they were Cleopatra and didn't come up with the right answers as to how long the ASP was are ignored in favor of the kids that you could pick out that got it right. This is like your dreams, you know, people who have precognitive dreams of which horse is going to win, they ignore all the times that they predicted number four and it was number five, and just the one time, you know, I dreamt of five, and five came in. Then I would not at all minimize the possibility that someone is coaching these kids, perhaps uh, subliminally, or a psychics having assistance in the audience. But I think that the most common without doubt, is lying. They simply lie or distort what the so-called truth that's been reached is. And this is especially true if the study takes place in an academic context because they have no methodology of science and they have a strong motive to uh, subvert the mind.